Dow Jones Industrial Average is above 12,000 for the eighth day in a row. And that's just one of the reasons some, including yesterday's Freedom Watch guest, Greg Ipp from The Economist magazine, think that the economy is on the right track. But is it really? Unemployment is still at 9% and food and energy prices are rising and some people are leaving the workforce because they haven't found jobs in two years. Here now is the less optimistic and, in my view, more realistic view, Jerry Salenti, publisher of Trends Journal. Jerry, uh, welcome here. Thank so you. yesterday, The Economist magazine, nice fellow looking at the same statistics that you and I look at, says happy days are here again and things are going well. What say you? By their deeds you shall know them. The Economist magazine, if I recall, in 2000 said that oil prices would go down to $5 a barrel. Mm, mm. And so I don't look at their, their, their forecast with very uh, high regard All right, because it, the fact is we're looking at an unemployment rate at what? We had created 36,000 jobs in January, and they were supposed to create 147,000 jobs, and we need to create 150,000 jobs how, a month. How accurate is the, is the statistic that says that unemployment is hovering around 9 to 9.4%? Aren't there people who've just stopped looking for jobs? Isn't it really worse than that? Well, in the USSA... It's like the former Soviet Union. They're cooking the numbers. Once you're off the unemployment rolls, you're no longer counted. John Williams, Shadow Statistics, he's putting the unemployment rate at around 22%. And again, when we look at the numbers, and that's all we'll talk about. Right. They, I heard President Obama say they created a million jobs last year in 2010, U.S. companies. No, they didn't. They created 2.5 million the only problem is they sent 1.5 million of them overseas where they created Right. Them. At the current rate that they're creating jobs now, again, we have to create 150,000 a month. All right. How, how bad will things be if the debt, which is now $14.3 trillion, goes up to $15.8 trillion? The president wants to borrow another trillion and a half. Most of the Congress uh, will let him do it. And we keep spending 70% of what we take in on entitlements and defense. And, and how, interest payments. How about if you have a second mortgage and you take out a third? Mm. That's what they're doing to this country. They're bankrupting us in front of our eyes by this devaluation of the dollar, printing digital money not worth the paper it's not printed on. We found out because of the one-time reporting in the Dodd-Frank bill that the Federal Reserve shoveled under the table $20 trillion worth of deals at no interest and low interest rates well, to Ron, banks around the world. Well, Ron Paul is right then when he says the Federal Reserve spends more than the Congress does. $20 trillion. $20 trillion in deals to the Bank of Japan, banks in Switzerland, in, in, in Germany, in France, in Ireland, giving money, no interest loans, low interest loans to General Electric, to McDonald's, to Harley Last Davidson. Last question. Why should the average person be concerned about that? The average American. Because why, are, why do you think gasoline prices, always commodity prices, food prices are going at, at record levels. They're commodity based in dollars. The more dollars gets devalued, the higher the cost of living goes up. But again, according to the USSA, there's no inflation going on. It's all in your mind. Jerry, thanks very much uh, for joining us.